I V M. Hi, I'm Rohan Joshi, and on my podcast, the show about crypto, I've been having some pretty cool conversations with industry experts about what exactly cryptocurrency is and what makes it so exciting. If you haven't already, please check it out on the IVM Podcasts Network. Now, a quick shout out to my fellow crypto heads. We've got a listener survey going on, which will take not more than ten minutes of your time to fill out. So please check the link in the description and help me out by filling it up. Don't forget to tune into a show about crypto on the IVM app and wherever you get your podcasts from. a lot of times when i talk to clients who are single and who well want to get married um one of the big things that comes up or rather two things that come up one is that when they think of marriage they are only thinking about the wedding right it's like they can only see that far very few of them have considered what life is going to be like beyond that and those few who have considered it their picture of it is completely skewed i mean it's like a diabetic yashraj film that too from the 70s or the 80s huh not current times not the ott types and the second aspect is that most people don't realize that marriage comes with responsibilities the only r that everybody seems to be focused on is romance nobody talks about r for responsibilities hi i'm chetna your favorite positive action coach and this is say no to drama and obviously i am here to tell you that you are being completely foolish if you are only thinking about your wedding and that beautiful dress that you're going to wear and how gorgeous you're going to look and if you're not really giving a thought to what happens after day 5 of having said i do so here's the reality you get married yes it's a beautiful wedding excellent you've got your dream dress and you've got the dream dances happening and uh the parties happened and oh god you were so drunk out of your heads and everybody is happy and the photographs are stunning great done with over now now starts the real deal you wake up in the morning with this person they have their habits you have your habits you get in each other's way oh yes it's going to happen then if you are living alone you've got to handle the house i mean groceries have to be ordered food has to be cooked even if you have a cook she is still going to come up to you and say aaj khane mein kya banega i'm sorry i cannot say that in english because it does not have the punch if i do <laughs> think about it you get married and then there is a life to be lived and that life requires some amount of adjustment to each other okay i personally don't like the word adjust so i choose to say adapt because when we say adjust we go into our whole typical indian family drama of saying oh i will not be able to do everything i want to do i will have to give up on my dreams no i don't mean that kind of adjustment okay i mean stupid things like one wants the ac and the other one is feeling too cold one does not like to talk before morning coffee the other one is chirpy as hell in the morning these are things that will happen also again i'm saying this you will have to run a house do you know how to order groceries do you know how to figure out what will be made for breakfast lunch and dinner do you know that you will have to pay the maid or the driver and there will have to be a calendar which has all these bills to be paid marked on it <laughs> if you've lived alone you know a lot of this fair enough but if you've never lived alone then this is all hard work and none of these tasks are interesting none of these tasks give you any joy and you are never being appreciated or acknowledged for any of this just because you know how to cook a mean biryani which you will do once in 6 months you will get appreciated for that but you ain't getting appreciated for that dal that you cook every day not going to happen also you can take your partner out on dates right you can have date nights like we say now um you could go for movies you could spend weekends chilling doing lots of fun things that is also life but those things have to be planned by you nobody is planning them for you okay so understand that marriage requires a large amount of adulting also if you are going to get married and live with the in-laws then they are not your parents they are not going to treat you like their daughter or son rather their daughter because in india most of the time it's the girl who goes to the in-laws place 
you're not going to be treated as their daughter please don't sit with that expectation and do not get married holding that expectation i mean we've got to at least learn by now i'm not saying that you have to deal with bad behavior but i'm saying what's with an expectation that nobody in your life has ever had fulfilled <laughs> nobody i mean did any friend of yours who got married did any sister of yours did an aunt of yours did your mum ever tell you that oh my in-laws treated me like a daughter they all walked in with the same expectation and yet we women don't seem to learn who's being stupid now for the guys let's just say this if you're getting married in a traditional setup you pay the bills buddy whether you like it or not and if you are not able to pay the bills you will be looked down upon i'm not saying this should not change 500% this needs to change but if it needs to change you need to make the change you need to choose differently you need to be bold enough to stand up and fight the fight and if you're not going to do that and you're going to get married in a traditional setup then deal with what comes in a traditional setup let me also burst another bubble and this is really something that is i mean it's an illusion you do not get along with your parents 24/7 are you telling me that you don't fight with your parents are you telling me there are times that you don't find your mum irritating or your dad irritating that you agree with everything that they say well stop comparing your in-laws to them firstly secondly your in-laws have their own way of living and they have lived like that for 50 years just like your parents have lived a certain way for 50 years if you aren't asking your parents to change you do not get to ask your in-laws to change this is part of adulting 101 post that wedding adulting in a marriage is about taking care of relationships and when you are so busy comparing and judging the people in your life you aren't taking care of them you are ruining them remember one thing your in-laws are your husband or your wife's parents they are also parents and if you love your husband or your wife then you don't need to love his or her parents but the least that you can do is be civil and be respectful the way you accept quirks in your family sometimes you have to accept the quirks in the family that you're married into again none of this is about accepting abuse or abusive behavior but i'm talking about very regular normal things that happen in a family that are exaggerated in our heads because our picture of a married life was diabetic and straight out of a yashraj film or a hollywood romcom okay so you will have to adult after the wedding there will be nobody coming to help you figure out your day or your life you have to do it on your own and depending on the kind of partnership you build with your husband or wife you will figure out a system of adulting between the two of you it's like if you decide to have a baby when you do decide to have a baby you will have to change the diaper in the middle of the night that's what adulting looks like your mama and your nana and nani are not coming to help you at 3 o'clock in the morning it's you the parents of the child so think about this when you say i'm ready to get married for heaven's sake please look beyond the wedding because that is not marriage that is the wedding that is the celebration that's it which is well just for 3 days 5 days maybe 7 days you need to breathe and think beyond that and you need to equip yourself emotionally and mentally to handle life that comes beyond that on this very scary note i'm going to head out from here you can listen to all the previous episodes on the ivm podcast app and website and i have many episodes on relationships scroll down on your list and you will find them you can also connect with us on twitter and instagram our handle is ivm podcast and if you want me to help you adult in your married life you can book a session by dming me on instagram my handle is positivity angel A hundred bucks. That's all it takes to begin your journey with Bitcoin and Ethereum. No, really. 
With CoinSwitch, you can start investing in over 100 cryptocurrencies with just 100 rupees. On top of that, there are zero charges for deposits and withdrawals, so you can trade, buy, sell, however and whenever you want. All of this, plus their extremely intuitive interface, makes CoinSwitch the perfect app for beginners in the crypto space. But don't take my word for it. Just download CoinSwitch for free and try it out for yourself. If you'd like more information on cryptocurrencies, tune into a show about crypto with me, Rohan Joshi, my new adventure on IBM Podcasts. Coin switch. Kuch to badlega. Hey, it's been another great week on the IBM Podcast Network. On Advertising is Dead, Varun is joined by Alex Dweck of NAS Academy. They discuss creators becoming educators. On Misconduct, Raghavi and Nisha look into the defamation suit against controversial actress Kangana Ranaut. On Audio Gyan, Kedar speaks to industrial designer Shara Chauhan. They discuss designing home appliances. On Smarter with Sid Siddharth explains the difference between two kinds of campaigns, awareness building and brand building. And on Hans Vani, hear how two cancer patients fall in love in the story Grey Shades. Do follow us on social media. We are IBM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows for that matter, please do tell a friend. Don't forget to rate us on any of the platforms you're listening to us on. And also remember, you can check out a lot of our stuff on YouTube. Go to ivmpodcast.com slash YouTube and you'll get a list of all the various channels that we do have. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors this week, Bank of Baroda and CoinSwitch Coupe Bear. Thank you so much for making this possible.